In this video, we will discuss the different interview questions on Assembly Design Workbench. Question number one. What is the save extension of assembly file? The save extension is .cat product. As you can see here, this is a product file. I will go to the properties and as you can see here, here is where you find the file extension. Now let's move on to the next question. What is bottom-up approach and how is it different from top-down approach? As we have discussed before, bottom-up approach is the one in which we create and save the part files in a folder and later we open up a new product file and then we insert the different components one by one in this in this way and the other way that is the top down approach is the one in which you open up an assembly file and then you insert new part and from there you keep modeling the parts on the go now let's move on to the next question that is how to find the degrees of freedom for a component in an assembly let's get back to our part which we have discussed before and here you can see that this particular part is being fixed and this is the movable one so for example i want to find the degrees of freedom for this so i'll double click on this component and go for analyze degrees of freedom as you can see here rotation is the only degree of freedom which you have for the component now let's move on to the next question what is desk command desk commands are used in order to track the different relation of the parts which you have in the file which you are working on. For example, I will close this file here. Go to the desk command. And as you can see here, my product file is coming from Katia and from the product file is linked to two part files as you can see here. What is save management? Save management is a very useful tool and it, you need to know the functionality of this tool when you go for working in larger projects. So when you work on a big file and you have a lot of components and um, for example you are working on a subcomponent of around uh, maybe for example I have one more component inside this component and there is one more component inside this one and for example I'm editing something and later I need to save that file so you don't know where to find or whether you have the rights or the access to save that file so when you go when you open up the save management you can see the different files that's being opened in your system you can see the state of that file if it was a file it was not open if it was just open it was not modified then the state will be open and if that file was modified and not saved then the state will be modified and if it is a new file which needs a fresh save a new state will be written here the name of the component will be shown here and as we have not saved any of the file the location is not shown here if I give any function for this then that action will be shown here and here the access will be shown for example I will save this file somewhere here product and if I save the product the parts will be saved automatically and you can see once if I save it's not saved yet but before that it's showing you the place it's gonna save and the state is still new once if I save it and if I go here again you can see all the states are open as I've said before now let's go ahead and modify any of that file I will modify this file 
I will increase this by 30 mm. So this is modified. Now let's get back to the save management. And as you can see here, the product file and the part file is being modified. If you save this file here, you can see that this file is saved automatically. If you don't want this to happen, then you need to go here for save management and click on enable save independent saves. And if you save this file, this won't be saved automatically. You need to save this individually. Those are the different options explained about the same management and that completes our interview questions discussion on assembly design workbench. I hope you enjoyed.